gastric ulcers. They're a painful condition of the horse's stomach and they're caused when we leave horses off feed for long periods of time. And they're made worse when you exercise horses with an empty stomach. G'day, I'm Nerida and this is Poet and we're from FeedXL.com and we thought we would just drop by today and show you what happens in your horse's stomach when they're off feed for long periods of time. So horses are very different to us. We're meal feeders and we eat food in, a, in distinct meals throughout a day. So our gastric acid secretion switches on when we start eating and it switches off when we stop eating. But a horse, because it evolved as a grazing animal and was continuously eating, they never developed an on-off switch for their gastric acid production. So their, their stomach is secreting acid 24 hours a day, regardless of whether they're eating or not. So what I wanted to do, I built you some very expensive models of the horse's stomach using empty milk bottles. And I wanted to show you what happens when you exercise a horse on an empty stomach. So if you look at this milk bottle, I've drawn a black line to signify the, the change between the lower stomach and the upper stomach. The lower part of the stomach was smart enough to protect itself from acid because it knew that the acid was going to be down there. So there's thick mucus that's secreted there to protect it from being burnt by the acid. The top part of the stomach, however, because the horse's stomach was always full when it was evolving, it never saw the need to actually protect itself from the acid production, from the acid that was in the lower part of the stomach. So it's totally unprotected from the acid. Now, if you leave a horse off feed for four or five hours, its stomach's gonna be completely empty, but it's gonna have secreted this huge pool of acid down there, which is perfectly okay if a horse is standing totally still and not tensing its stomach muscles. But, you know, whose horse stands totally still? So what happens is they have this pool of acid down the bottom and when they start to move a little bit, it starts to splash around. So you imagine a horse walking, a horse trotting, a horse cantering, and you can see that acid is just splashing up onto the top part of the stomach. And it's gonna start burning holes in the top and creating gastric ulcers. Now the reason why we say always keep your horse's stomach health uh, full and never ever exercise your horse on an empty stomach is because if you've got fiber inside that stomach, one, you've had the horse create saliva, which means the acid won't be as acidic, so it won't be as burning if it does splash around. And the second and most important thing is the fiber actually acts as a barrier for that acid splashing around. So this milk bottle has got loosened chaff or alfalfa chaff in it, and it's got exactly the same amount of fluid in there but I can shake that bottle as much as I like and the fluid can't move beyond that um, lower section. So it doesn't actually get up above that black line and start to burn the top part of the stomach. Now I know it's a pretty simplistic demonstration, but it's literally bringing the horse's stomach outside its body so you can see what's going on. So please don't do this. Please don't ride your horse on an empty stomach because that is what is happening inside. Keep your horse's stomach full of fiber. You'll have all this beautiful saliva inside the stomach, keeping the pH a little bit higher than would otherwise be. And the acid just can't splash. It's a good thing, isn't it, Poltman?